What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Obviously we're going to be going over Zert and what he has this time around. Obviously he's in the EDZ, uh, that's obviously the flashpoint. He's always there on uh, this little like little hill. He has to go through a cave or whatnot, but let's see what he has. Obviously you have the Faded Ingram. Basically it'll give you an exotic that you do not have yet. Uh, if there's any exotics down here that you don't have, pick these up first because this could potentially give you that. I know for myself I have all the exotics, so this is pointless for me to pick up right now because it'll just give me a repeat exotic. So. Let's just get right into it, so let's check it out. So it looks like we have the Tractor Cannon as the weapon this time around. Let's go over the perks. Repulsor Force. This weapon emits a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away, suppresses their abilities, and makes them more vulnerable to void damage. Yeah, that, that perk has been improved a lot. Then we have Extended Barrel, Particle Repeater, and then the Scientific Method, which damaging an opponent temporarily increases speed and handling. And then you have composite stock as a stock. So I actually have this thing masterwork, which is pretty awesome. And it basically bumps up the mag size to seven. It's nothing crazy, not a huge improvement, but obviously you can bust through four rounds uh, on this thing pretty normally. I think I have the ornament. Yeah, I have the one ornament under construction. So uh, highly recommend picking this thing up if you don't have it. It's very entertaining using the crucible, especially in things like mayhem, because people have their supers all the time. There's heavy all the time. Since there's heavy all the time, you can deny people with this weapon instead of trying to use a suppressor grenade or trying to drop them with an energy weapon. So this thing can suppress them right out of the super. I've seen a lot of things where people like boop somebody off a map. So highly recommend picking this thing up and just testing it out in the crucible. I'll definitely have my masterwork review out on it because obviously the perks have changed since um, I would say original D2 and Curse of Osiris. So it looks like the Titan. We have the Actium War Rig chess piece. It actually has a new ornament, but I don't believe I have it. I do not. But let's check out the perk auto loading link. Steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles magazine from reserves. So this thing is good for like, oh, sweet, a sweet business, especially. It just maximizes DPS and considering the reload time on it's really slow. I feel like it's a PvE oriented weapon versus PvP because um, auto rifles were good in PvP, but obviously the pulse rifle meta has taken over. Some people still use Uriel's Gift and whatnot. I would just say if you feel like the mag size is too low, just put this thing on. And yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Next, we have the Warlock Helmet called the Stag. I'm pretty sure I have the new ornament for it because it looks freaking amazing. We like, like, what the heck is that? That looks awesome. So let's go over the perks. So it comes with Dearly Departed, grants rift energy when you're critically wounded and on your death creates a brief healing rift on your core. So this is definitely a, uh, um, I would say a support uh, type of exotic, especially for your team. Cause if you die, it drops a healing rift, especially for things like control. Um, it can help your team out tremendously. Uh, I know a lot of people don't use it, but if you're somebody who doesn't have a favorite exotic and you're more, you want to be more of the, I would say support class. This thing is what you want to be using for your team. And then for the hunter, we have the new warman exotic, the sealed Amakara's grass. Now, uh, this was a Destiny One exotic, just like the stag. And the perk actually has changed. It's called Nightmare Field, dealing melee damage reloads your current equipped weapon. So if you get a melee off, a throwing knife, a smoke, uh, as a hunter, automatically reloads a weapon. So it's kind of interesting. It's definitely extremely situational uh depending on how you use it i was thinking like maybe i could use it if i was doing the uh, gambler uh what is it gambler's dodge i think where you can um get your melee back if you dodge near an enemy and stuff like that obviously the whole arc strider dodging melee dodging melee um that thing works as well so i definitely want to try this exotic out see if it's interesting um i don't know about pve or pvp to be honest i i just need to test it out and get that review out to you guys obviously we have the consumables you have the three coins which gives you an increased chance of getting exotic engrams around the world and then you have the legendary knife challenge card essentially it adds on uh these two extra things right here so in the beginning you have your singe right and then you can put an advantage on right originally you can only have extinguish and a um oh like a an elemental singe i should say and then obviously you can either put on three disadvantages or you can put on two advantages and then two disadvantages so it messes with your score multiplier and whatnot so if you want to check that out definitely pick that up it'll definitely be able to adjust your score in your nightfalls and probably make it a little higher depending on what build you use all right guys that's it for zero if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me i'll take you to a format video if you want to go check that out awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like this video subscribe to the channel share this video turn on the notification bell next subscribe you'll be notified when it drops new content on the channel and then comment what you guys want to see below I'm making content for you also whatever you want to see i'll be making content on it and yeah i know a lot of people have been talking about gambit obviously e3 was here uh, i dropped i dropped the uh, this week at bungie news article basically my summary of things and my thoughts uh there's some great things coming in forsaken i'm really excited if you guys also want to check out my dis 
Discord. The link is below. It should be like one of the first few links below. Uh, Want to go in? Basically, we have some chat channels open about some new games that are be coming out. It like stuff at E3, like the oh, like Anthem Division Two, even Destiny Forsaken. There's some great stuff uh, in those areas that are going to be coming out, and we're definitely chatting about that. We also have some voice chats. So basically, if you want to do the Nightfall or the raid, uh, you can definitely just join up with some people in there, have a crispy uh, audio connection, so nothing uh, ridiculous happens. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.